We will have now an overview on Torch's image package. Image is the Torch 7 package for processing images. It allows us to save and load JPEGs, PNG, PPN and PGMs. Allow us to do some easy transformations like translation, scaling, rotation, horizontal, vertical flip. We can also do parameterized transformations like convolutions and warping. We can also draw some uh, text and rectangles on images. And we are provided with a graphical user interface for displaying our images. Moreover, we can perform color space conversions from and to RGBs, YUV, LAB and HSL. Finally, it provides us with constructors for creating LENA, Gaussian and Laplacian kernels. We will see the following functions. We will start with LuaRox list and install to check whether the ENV package is installed in our system. Then we will meet our new REPL, which allow us to use the Qt libraries. And we will use it with the env library. Then we will learn how to load an image. We will learn also the equal operator in the QLua interpreter. We will learn how to scale an image how to display an image, uh, how to make a copy, a deep copy of an image, how to replace the content of a plane, for example, with uh, a specific value. Uh, moreover, we will see a more advanced display where we can specify a title for the window, a zoom factor, the number of multiple images we would like to show per row, and how much space you would like to put between those images. Moreover, we'll see how to extract this collection of images we just displayed. We'll see how to save an image, uh, in more detail a PNG file. How to crop an image. We will see the names of some popular color space conversions. And then finally we see how to draw text on an image and how to draw a rectangle. More precisely, it's going to be a bounding box around uh, Lena's face. Let's say we have an image. We would like to resize. In this tutorial, instead of using the REPL TH we have been using so far, we will be using QLua, which is a QT enabled Lua shell. We shall check that the ENV package is installed on our machine. We can do so by typing Lua rocks list ENV, and we can see that the ENV it's installed on our machine. So let's open qlua-lenv to load the library env, which provides our REPL with nice functionalities. We can start by requiring the package image. Then we can have a variable ai equal image dot load and then the name of the file ai.jpg in qlua we had to type an equal in order to have a result print on screen so let's print the size of ai ai has three planes rgb 1000 rows and 1500 columns. The type of AI it's a double tensor. Let's say we would like to nicely visualize this image on our screen. Let's query the current resolution of my screen. On OS X I can do so by typing System profile, SP display data type, and I can grab the resolution. And we have that the resolution is of 900 rows and 1440 columns. So we have that our image is higher and wider than the current screen. Let's resize our image to half of its dimension. So we can type AI dot scale equal image dot scale 
of our image AI. We can say half of its rows and half of its height. If we check now the dimensionality of a scale, it's going to be three planes, 500 rows and 750 columns. We can now easily display this image on the screen. I can do so by typing image display and AI scale. And here is our image. Let's now check the content of green in this image. To do so, let's go back to the terminal. Let's have AI green equal AI scale clone. In this way, we made a deep clone of the AI scale tensor. Otherwise, you would have shared simply the same reference to the same tensor if you would have simply used the equal assignment operator. So AI green, again, it's uh, three planes, 500 rows, 750 columns. Let's take the first plane, which is the red plane, and fill it with zeros. Then RGB, so let's take the third plane and also fill it with zeros. So now AI green will have only content relative to the green channel. Let's visualize now the content of AI green. So image.display and I could simply type AI green. Uh, this time we change and we write curly bracket and then we have image equal AI green legend equal green plane. Let's check the result. Here we have the green content of the previous image. Let's say we would like to visualize both images on the same window. We can do so by typing image display image equal the table of AI scale and AI green. Then we have legend equal original and green plane and then let's put zoom equal 0.5 otherwise it won't fit let's check the result and here they are the original on the left hand side and the green plane on the right hand side let's display as well the other two channels perhaps below and on the right hand side let's go back to the terminal so let's have AI red equal torch um, zeros of the size of uh, AI scale. And then we have that we copy over just the first plane equal AI scale first plane. And then we can have AI blue equal torch dot zeros AI scale and then AI blue RGB so B is the last one equal to AI scale number and now we can display all the four images so we can do image dot display curly bracket and let's have image equal 
uh, AI scale and now we have AI RGB so R and then we have AI G green and then we have AI blue uh, and then let's put again the zoom equal 0.5 and let's set the number of rows um, to be 2 at most and then we write the legend which is going to be uh, original and then we have red and below we have G and B and we close and let's check the result and here we have the four maps so we have the original image in the top left corner the red plane top right we can see that in the top right area there is little red where we have lots of green in this area and as well here that we have mainly blue we have less red here in the same way where we have more red here we can see that there is less green and then we can see in the yellow area there is basically and in the red area there are no whatsoever blue values you can still see some spots here and here because they correspond to the bright white of those spots let's say we are satisfied with our result and we would like to save the content of this screen so let's go back we can convert this collection of images into one image by using the a very similar function let's go to the beginning and instead of having display we have image to display tensor instead of having image we put input and then at the beginning we are gonna have our output image and we can press enter now if we would like to display uh, to be sure it is correct we can do image dot display image equal output image uh, zoom equal 0 0.5 and legend equal uh, output image uh, and let's check so here we have that the output image are those four brains glued together let's save this image on our desktop so let's go back to the terminal we can do so uh, by issuing the command image dot save um, let's save in png perhaps initially we open a jpeg image and now we are saving a png so we can easily convert among different images format so let's put here the name and we have four glued brains dot png and then we can insert our image we would like to save uh, we said we would like to save it on the desktop so we can do desktop slash for glued brains enter uh, if we go back on the desktop we can see here that we have our four glue brains png and we can open it let's say now we would like to extract the top left quadrant of our newly generated image so let's print first the size of our image which is three planes an rgb image so a color image with 1000 lines and 1500 columns let's have now uh, our crop image equal image dot crop of our output image from the zero zero coordinate so top left quadrant to the fifteen hundred divided by two x coordinate and one thousand divided by two y coordinate 
we can check now the uh, dimensionality which is exactly a color image so th three planes 500 rows and 750 columns we can now display this image to be sure we have cropped the right one so image display uh, image equal crop image and then legend equal cropped and we can check the result now and there we go the cropped image there are many more transformations we can apply to our image uh, we can have a list of all transformations by typing image dot tab tab we can see crop we can see horizontal flip we can see vertical flip we can also see HSL to RGB and HSV to RGB or RGB to HSL, RGB to HSV and RGB to lab also RGB to NRGB and RGB to Y so black and white and RGB to YUV we can rotate the image we can save in different format like JPEG, PGM, PNG and PPM as we saw we can scale our image and then also uh, one interesting one is from a grayscale to a jet color map I wrote some time ago. Let's finish now by trying the LENA function which returns an image that has been widely used in the computer vision field. We can simply display this image by typing image.display and then we have image.lena and here she is. Finally, let's see how to write some text and draw some rectangles on our images. This is very important for writing labels and bounding boxes. Image draw text on image lena. And we have hello new line world add the coordinate 10 10 and here we have image dot display and if we check the result we have Lena and the string hello world in the top left corner at the position 10 pixel 10 pixel we can change now, uh, for example, the position and color and size. So let's do the same. Uh, and in here, we can do uh, 20, for example. And then we have color equal 0, 255, 0. And then we may have size equal 5. Close. And if we check the result, we have here our hello world in a green and bigger character. We can try one more variation. So let's go up. And then let's also add here um, the ground color equal perhaps red 255 0 0 and let's press enter and here we have the third variation green font on red the ground terrible <laughs> finally we can learn how to draw a bounding box so let's go back here image.display and open parentheses then let's go image draw rectangle and then we have image dot lena um, coordinate 200 200 and then 370 and 400 and then we have some uh, specifications 
for example, you can have line width equal 5, and then we can have color equal perhaps green. And that's it. So let's close this guy. And let's close this one. And let's close this one. And let's see our result. So there we go. We have a bounding box on Lena's face.